Today we're going to be looking at handy Shabak and project based teams. Um, I'm from Ireland, I'm precisely I'm from Northern Ireland, so the Shamrock is held as being an Irish symbol, so today will be a good day. Um, handy Shamrock. Okay. Handy uh, said there are basically three types of workers. There's the core workers. We will look at international schools as our examples. So that would be full time teachers like myself and the principal uh, and the ladies who work in the office here. Then there are the peripheral workers. They are the workers who are brought in um, when they're needed. Okay? So, for example, uh, quite often we use substitute teachers uh, who come to school if, say, a teacher is off sick or if they know a teacher is away on training. Uh, or for invigilation, so for the IB exams and the IGCSE exams. Uh, the outsourced or contractual fringe, this school doesn't produce the food in the cafeteria. Uh, they use Eurus, uh, you may use Sodexo. Uh, some schools also use uh, outside recruitment agencies uh, to, for part of the recruitment process, especially at the top end. Remember, they're looking for principals and they're looking for certain skills. But the best, more international schools seem to be using uh, recruitment agencies. Um, and due to uh, companies wanting to reduce costs, and of course the introduction of new technologies, the core sort of workers inside a, 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 a company, quite that seems to be maybe getting a little bit smaller. And the peripheral workers and outsourced contractual fringe getting uh, larger. Then, project based. I, on the, the old syllabus, this used to be called like, the matrix structure. I still tend to refer to it as a matrix structure. So that's just for the workers from various departments. Instead of just working solely within their department, uh, they work in project based teams. Uh, the, most schools um, tend to be very much based on you are a maths teacher and you pretty much just work with people uh, who teach maths. Uh, certainly, I pretty much only ever taught uh, business here or economics. And what goes on in design technology or what goes on in English has never been of much interest to me, to be honest. But I've never had to work with people from other departments. Okay? But in industry, what you will find is that people from various departments do work together a lot on various projects. Now, you will see I put this, this, and this. Three screenshots. Uh, all three of these screenshots are taken from the syllabus. Uh, this is from unit uh, one. Okay, which has to do with the role of businesses in combining human, physical, and financial resources to create goods and services. If we look at this part, in combining human resources, so what that might mean is people from the various departments working together. This hat is taken from the marketing unit, the introduction. Uh, marketing in its relationship with other business functions, and operations management in its relationship with other business functions. So I spend quite a bit of time at the start of each unit looking at how the marketing department and the production department work with other departments to help the organization meet its goals. And one of the ways in which they do that is by having lots and lots of project based teams. So in theory that should uh, increase collaboration, communication within the business. The people uh, can then focus on each project's particular needs. Workers can be allocated depending on their skills or on the needs of the, the project. Obviously what might happen is you, the disadvantage may be you have increased costs because each project may well have a manager. There may well be diseconomies of scale because if a worker is part of six different project teams with differing objectives uh, and differing time scales, that may well mean that some projects get put on the, the, the back burner sometimes. Um, Managers compete for resources and it's obviously going to become harder to organize time and resources. So that's going to be a disadvantage of a project-based structure. And finally, the, I tend to give an example of uh, movies for uh, matrix or project-based structures. Um, this is Walt Disney. This is the, the, their planned schedule for the movies for the next sort of four or five years. I'm making this on May 25th, 2018. Today, Solo, a Star Wars story, a movie I will never see, um, will be released. A couple of weeks ago, the Avengers Infinity War was released to huge acclaim and huge box office. And these are the movies which are going to come out in the next three, four years. Undoubtedly, 
many of the people doing special effects, animation, etc., etc., will be working on a wide, wide range of those movies, and they will have uh, lots and lots of different managers competing for their time. So, uh, probably inside uh, Disney, people will be complaining about that. All right, but nevertheless, this would be a very, very good example of a project-based thing, and that's all for today.